Good evening. So, a uh, short video to just uh, teach you how to do, uh, how to construct parallel, a parallel line uh, to another line, uh, specifically going through a particular point. So, as you can see here, I have a ray, and my goal is to construct a line that is parallel to this ray and goes through point P. So if I use my compass, and I put the center point of the compass on the point P itself, and I'm going to try to, and this is the easier yet less accurate method, I'm going to try to set my compass to be the distance to the line as close as I possibly can. Now the problem is, is if my uh, compass isn't perpendicular, uh, I put that. In, I'm doing little air quotes now. Perpendicular to the uh, line, then I, I'm kind of eyeballing it, guessing it. So this is what I was taught when I was in high school, and it's not necessarily the most accurate. But the more accurate method is fairly complex. So it depends on your goal. Um, if we're talking test, I probably request you do the other method, the second method. But if you're trying to complete something quickly, this will work. So I've set my compass to mimic this distance. In other words, the radius of my compass is the shortest distance from point P to the line. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is set my compass down this way and put it on, put the center point on the line. And if I swing this arc up here, uh, I can then be assured because the farthest distance from this line is at that arc, I can do Actually, I should probably make a second arc. Hold on. There we go. Uh, set the center point on the line again. And another arc. And I can only rest. Uh, think of it if you had two umbrellas standing on the sidewalk and they're the same height. Uh, the piece of wood couldn't, a piece of wood or something laying on top of it couldn't go any further. So I'm going to do this. the other end and you would you would construct it and use your straight edge but I don't have that option so I'm trying to grab the end point here changing its position notice the right hand side goes down as well and let's get that so that's kind of quote sitting on top of there and that would be the cheesy less accurate method so now the more appropriate better method what you're going to do is construct the perpendicular bisector that goes through point P and of course is parallel, excuse me, perpendicular to the the line in question. So this is the method we learned in class. side here. And then of course um, constructed the perpendicular bisector. And as such that goes through point P. Now that I have that, oops, I can construct the perpendicular bisector that goes through point P and is perpendicular to the perpendicular bisector. But I first have to identify another segment, just like I did down here with this red arc. I'm going to use blue and I'm going to put, it, put my center point on point P. I'm going to set my compass and basically construct a circle. Probably should have made it so that we go through this point. We'll adjust that by doing. You can't adjust it, or you can take your straight edge and extend it. Now I have this segment, and I'm going to bisect it, or create the perpendicular bisector for this one. And let's grab a different color. This is purple. And there's my 
candy, as last year's students would call it. And there it is again. And so I end up having the perpendicular bisector through point P perpendicular to my original perpendicular bisector. And because these two corresponding angles, this one and that one, are both 90 degrees, and this corresponding angle with that, the alternate interior angles are congruent, blah, 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 because we're all 90. Um, I can be assured that this line is parallel with this line. And that's it.